If you just got your dbrand XPS 13 or XPS 15 skin, relax. This is going to be easy. First, wipe your device free of dust and fingerprints. For optimal results, ensure you are under bright lighting. Note that your dbrand skin comes with up to five elements. Top, logo, bottom, palm rest, and trackpad. Don't worry if your exact device isn't shown. The procedure is identical for all models. You will require a hair dryer for this installation. So pause the video now and go grab one. Welcome back. Let's start with the logo. If you didn't purchase a separate logo piece, one with a Dell cutout is included by default with your top skin. If you did purchase a separate logo piece, there are two styles included with your order. One has a Dell logo cutout and the other does not. You can use whichever you prefer. Note that the second L piece has been removed from the Dell logo cutout. This is normal. To apply the Dell logo variant, begin by carefully removing the logo cutout. Next, peel off the circular logo piece, then put the Dell cutout back onto the 3M paper. Apply the logo piece using the bottom left of the D as an alignment reference. Once the circle has been applied, take the Dell logo and insert the D into the cutout. Press firmly on the D, then peel off the logo. This process will ensure the inner portion of the D is aligned properly. Applying the logo piece without a Dell cutout is easy. Just leave your laptop out in the rain. Let's move on to the top skin. Note that in order to ensure the skin doesn't peel up over time, it is designed to be slightly smaller than the surface of your laptop. Once you've completed installation, you'll see that there is uniformly equal spacing between the border of the skin and the edge of the device. To begin, remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. If you're applying a skin to the XPS 2 and one model, be sure to expose the hinge cutout. Align the skin along the top and right edges, less than half a millimeter from the border. Take a look at the three exposed corners. You should see equal spacing between the border of the skin and the edge of the laptop on all sides. For the XPS 2 and one ensure that there is also equal spacing around the hinge. If you align the skin flush against the edge of the laptop, you'll see that the opposite side will be too short. If the spacing isn't equal on all edges, simply tear it off and start again. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portion. Next, shift the 3M paper down diagonally by about two inches and apply pressure to the exposed portions. Repeat this process until the entire top surface has been applied. Next up is the bottom piece. Remove the skin and reattach as shown. Make sure to peel the skin gently, otherwise the cutouts may not remove alongside the skin. Align around the screw cutouts as shown, ensuring that each screw is centered properly. Once lined up, apply pressure along the top edge, leaving the corners unstuck. Next, lift the skin, shift the 3M paper to the left, and focus your attention on the bottom right. Pull the skin tight and align around the screw cutout. Once aligned, apply pressure to smooth down the right side. Next, shift the 3M paper down diagonally by about two inches and apply pressure to the exposed portions. 
Repeat this process until the entire bottom has been applied. You may now remove the ventilation and rubber foot cutouts using the peel tabs. Finally, let's take a moment to apply the corners. Grab your hair dryer. Peel back any of the four corners, then heat it up until the material becomes soft. Once heated, apply firm pressure to form the skin properly around the curve. Repeat this process for the remaining three corners. Apply one more round of heat and pressure along each edge to ensure the skin is applied properly. Let's move on to the palm rest. Remove the skin from the 3M paper and reattach as shown. Align against the hinge, ensuring the skin is evenly spaced along all sides. Once lined up flawlessly, apply pressure to the exposed portions. Next, lift the skin, shift the 3M paper to the left, and focus your attention on the bottom right. Pull the skin tight, then lay it down so that it's flush with the bottom right corner. Apply a round of pressure to smooth down the right side, taking care around the keyboard cutout. Next, shift the 3M paper down diagonally and apply pressure to the exposed portion. Repeat this process until the entire palm rest skin has been applied. Finally, remove the keyboard and trackpad cutouts. To apply the trackpad skin, just use an eyedropper. Done! If you have any questions, you know how to reach us.